Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline, Jennifer, Claudia Maria. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, every day. It's good to see you. How are you, Jennifer? I think I had problems with my camera. <laughs> yes, I think I'm, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna turn turn it off for a moment, and I will share the class presentation for this evening. Just give me one moment, please. Okay, this is the class number 10. And today we are going to learn about the present continuous. Okay, the present continuous form to ask about family. We're going to talk about the family in this class. And as you can see, we have two objectives. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. In this lesson, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. So it's time to Take the attendance. It's time to take the attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Okay. And if it's possible, please turn on your camera. <laughs> I have problems with my camera. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> but if you can, please turn it on. Okay, so it's Friday, February 3rd, and we're going to start with Alejandro Cartagena. He's not connected. Okay, what about Ana Elizabeth Garcia? Ay, creo que mejor los que sí están. <laughs> Claudia María, ¿verdad? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Claudia Maria Garcia. We have Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Present. Uh, Jessica Susana Manchan. Present, teacher. Okay, Janet Rosibel Rivas. Present, teacher. Okay. We have Jennifer Marisol. Present, teacher. Teacher, yo voy a estar apagando la cámara porque estoy todavía acá en el, en el hospital, oiga. Okay, Jennifer, don't worry, it's okay. En Manuel Portales. Present. Thank you, Emmanuel. Christopher Montano. I'm here, teacher. Eli Antonio Sandoval. <laughs> Doribel Arriaza. Present teacher, en unos minutos voy a activar la cámara porque vengo manejando, pero ya estoy casi llegando. Ok, Doribel. Eli, bueno. eh, no la escuché. Ok, people, thank you for connecting on time. Ok. So, as I was telling you, we have... We have uh, today the topic about the family and also present continuous. We have four activities. Activity one, would you like to go? Activity two, asking about families. Activity three, let's practice. So in the activity number one, you, you may some conversations inviting people to do something. That was your homework. So that, that's great. You're going to invite your classmates to an activity. Okay, so you will work in groups 
and you will invite your classmates, your partners to do some activities. For example, imagine in your group, in your group, you have um, three people. You ask them, hey, Janet, would you like to eat pupusas after class? Yes, of course, I would love to eat pupusas after class because I am very hungry. Okay, where would you like to go? And you continue the conversation in a natural way. Um, also, for example, Jacqueline, hey Jacqueline, would you like to, to go to Multiplaza? Yes, I love to. Um, what time would you like to go? I would like to go in the tomorrow in the afternoon at 3 p.m. Okay, where should we meet? So you're going to talk about making invitations. You will make invitations to your partners. You will invite them to a party, to your house, to the park, to the cinema, etc. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. So let's go. Let's go to the break of rules. Teacher, denme unos tres minutos para Poderme unirme a un grupo. Ok, Doribe. Y, y también vamos a dar la respuesta como I, I didn't, I love did, como ella nos estuvo explicando ayer. Ah, recuerda. Sí. La sí. clase de okay. con el word. Ah, uh, word. Ok. No, este nos mandó al. Ayer creo que tenemos la clase de ayer ahí, ¿verdad? Como para sí. formular algunas preguntas. ¿Cómo no? Um... En el WhatsApp de las imágenes que teníamos. Sí, sí, recuerda. Sí. Entonces, podremos usar también. Ay, nos mandó la foto, creo. Yes, you have it now. <laughs> Thank teacher. You're welcome. Ok. O sea, lo vamos a hacer como formulando nosotros poniéndole nuestra parte, o sea. Mm. Lo van a hacer, por ejemplo, eh, Claudia, would you like to, eh, would you like to go to the park to play basketball? Yes, I would like yes. to. Where? Would you like to go? Which part would you like to go? What time are we going? Or what time eh, would you like to go to the park? Papá. Van a hacer una invitación. Además de la invitación, con Wood van a hacer otras preguntas para ponerse de acuerdo. Y si usted dice que no, entonces tiene que decir una excusa por qué no va a ir. Mm, okay. uh, como diciendo I have to work tomorrow I have to work exactly. I have to work, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry but I have to work tomorrow ok ok Sí, cualquiera de esas podría ser. Quiero ver. Ajá, porque ella ya puso otra vez la foto en el grupo. Ajá. La. Wednesday. 
Where is it? Ajá, o sea, nosotros vamos a dar la, la respuesta que nosotros queramos. Ok, así que va como usted y yo lo hicimos. Pues. Ajá, exacto. Vaya, a paz que pasen otros ahora. <risa> Ok, solo no necesario tienen que hacer, sino que aquí pueden inventarse ahorita la invitación. O sea, le puede decir, Jessica, eh, would you like to, to eat with me? Would you like to have dinner with me? Oh, yes. I want to. Eh, where would you like to go? I would like to go to a new restaurant, a new pupuseria restaurant. Would you like to eat pupusas? Yes, I love pupusas and things like that. Okay, a natural conversation. Yo creo que hay muchos voy a... Braulio. Okay, it's the good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, Jessica. Uh -huh. Um, lo hago con usted. Sí, claro. Would you like to go on Friday eat tacos? Yes, I love tacos. I would like it. Uh, six. Yeah. It's okay for me. Okay, thank you. See you. Okay, now Braulio and Janet. Um, este, que ver, would you like to go? And what's the movie? What's new movie? Um, yes. Good luck. Oh, very good. Is the movie is Avatar 2? <laughs> oh, yes. Good luck is, is movie. Uh, what, what? What movie? Um, to... Digamos si queremos ir a tomar algo. Uh -huh. Bueno, por ejemplo, van a decir, I, I like to, but I don't have time. Eh, no sé, por, por ejemplo, ahí están diciendo que le gustaría ir, pero que no tienen tiempo. Así, Así como está en el... Como sí, está como en, en la conversación, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. sería, al, sería would, you, would you like to go drink? Or I drink. Ajá. Would you like to go for a drink? Would you Ajá. like to go for a drink? ¿Quieres ir a tomar algo? Exactly. Would you like to go for a drink? I love I like to, to drink. Uh, drink. I don't drink whiskey. <ríe> no es mentira, pero cosas que me gustaría creo que ya ingresó la, la teacher ay no, no van a ponchar <ríe> hello now you are at home el, es que fíjese que estábamos tres en el grupo pero acabamos de ingresar entonces solo ingresamos a la sala que nos había repartido pero sí teníamos como esa duda que íbamos a hacer entonces un poquito acabamos de ver las indicaciones Yes, it's about uh, making invitations for example would you like to eat pizza on Sunday? Ah 
Y entonces nosotros tenemos que hacer preguntas. Yes, I would love to. Eh, where would you like to eat pizza? I would like to eat pizza at Papayan's restaurant. Okay, let's go to Multiplaza. Okay. What time? Um, is 11 a.m. okay? Yes, it sounds good. <laughs> and things like that. I'm sorry for my camera, people. It's not working. But some minutes ago, it was working well in the previous class. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, so now I have a question. I have a question for all of you. And you can type the answer in the chat. You can type the answer in the chat. The question is, what would you like to do on the weekend? Because tomorrow is the weekend, it's so Saturday. So what would you like to do this weekend? What would you like to do this weekend? Well, I would like to go to the beach but I can't, but I would like to go to the beach or to a river because I love the rivers and I love the beach. Okay, so what would you like to do this weekend? Oh, Jessica, I would like to go to the gym. <laughs> wow, Jessica, you're very disciplined. <laughs> I would Six like- times to, at the week. Uh, sorry? I go six times a week. Six so, times a week. Yes, or five. Okay, this weekend I would like to sleep more. Jimmy, you would like to go to the <laughs> to play. Braulio, that's nice. I would like to go to visit my family. I would like to visit them. Mm -hmm, to play pool. <laughs> Okay, Jimmy, Jacqueline, I would like to visit my family. I would like to go to visit my family. Or to visit my family. I would like to visit my family. Yes, I would like to see my mother too and my brothers. I would like to eat with them. Vaya. Okay, yes. what about the other people? Emmanuel, Carlos, Christopher, Jennifer. Braulio, I would like to go to visit the park. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, para decir que una película es de larga duración, ¿cómo sería? It's a long movie. Okay, thanks. I would like to visit my parents with my family. I really miss them. Oh, my man. man. Okay, next question. What would you like to eat on the weekend? What would you like to eat on the weekend? Well, I like a hamburger, a Wendy's hamburger. They are my favorite. Or, or sushi, or Chinese food. Do you like Chinese food? Mm -hmm. So I would like to eat a hamburger, or sushi, or Chinese food. <laughs> Jacqueline, I would like to eat sopa de pata. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's delicious. It's delicious. I would like to eat Chinese food prepared by myself. Really, Jimmy? Are you a chef? You can open your microphone if you want, Jimmy. Oh, you're a cook. Do you have your own restaurant? Christopher, I would like to eat pupusas tonight. <laughs> okay. 
Jessica would like to eat a shrimp cocktail. Mm. Yes, that would be nice to eat a, a seafood soup. I love the seafood soup, the mariscada. Oh, Emmanuel, I would like to eat kebab. Kebabs are delicious too. <laughs> okay, next question. What movie would you like to watch? What movie would you like to watch? Well, in the at lunch today, I watched Iron Man 3 with my husband. <laughs> the, we watched the second part because the first part we watched it another day. And today we finished watching that movie. <laughs> okay, but in your case, what movie would you like to watch? I would like to watch a Coco movie. Coco. <laughs> okay. Claudia says that she would like to see the Avengers. I like romantic comedies. So I would like to watch a movie from Sandra Bullock. I would like to watch Rock School. <laughs> I would like to watch the movie, the name is Khan and I am not terrorist. Okay, Christopher, I would like to watch. I would watch Fifty Shades of Grey with my girl, Christopher. <laughs> okay. Um, you are very sincere people. <laughs> I will watch Avatar too. Okay, nice. Uh, another question, what place or where would you, no, I'm, I want to change the question. Which country would you like to visit? Which country would you like to visit? Oh, Jennifer likes Pretty Woman. <laughs> you would like to watch Pretty Woman. Which country would you like to visit? I would like to visit Hawaii. I would like to visit Japan. That's great. I would like to visit Japan, Korea, and China. <laughs> wow, that will be a great tour. <laughs> South Korea. You would like to visit South Korea. Okay. Yeah, because North Korea is bad. <laughs> Okay, Christopher would like to visit Colombia. Braulio would like to visit Israel, okay? I would like to visit New Zealand. There are beautiful places at New Zealand or also Switzerland. Suiza, Switzerland, I love the mountains. I would like to visit Australia. I would like to visit Paris. I would like to visit Egypt. Egypt. I would like to visit Japan and stay there and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if you get married with a Japanese girl, you can stay there. <laughs> you never know, you never know. I would like to visit Africa. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Good. It's interesting to see your opinions. It's interesting to know your opinions. <laughs> Okay, I would like to visit England. Okay, I have another question. What other language would you like to speak? Okay, what other language would you like to speak? Besides English and Spanish. I would like to speak Japanese and Italian. Oh, <laughs> I would like to speak Italian. I love that language. And I know some words, but I would like to learn better the Italian. 
I think French is very complicated. No, not complicated, but difficult for the pronunciation. But I was trying to learn French. <laughs> I would like to speak English. <laughs> oh, I would like to speak Japanese and English. I would like to speak English and Korean. But you speak English already. You <laughs> Okay, interesting, very nice. Thank you for your opinions. Thank you for your participations. Let's continue. Now, in the next activity, we have a conversation about families, asking about families. Do you live with your family? Can you raise your virtual hand if you live with your family? Pueden levantar su mano virtual si viven con su familia, maybe your Mother, father, brothers and sisters? My mother, teacher. Oh, good evening, Alejandro. Okay. Good evening. You live with your mother. Okay, Jacqueline? Yeah. Jessica? Okay, very nice. Good. So here we have asking about families. We have a conversation between Rita and Sue. So please pay attention because I'm going to read the conversation for you. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. So we can see Rita's sister and, uh, sorry, Sue's sister and Sue's brother, okay? What does uh, Sue's sister do? What does she do? What's her job? What's her job? Is she a police woman? Or is she um can be a spy? Okay, maybe could be. She could be a spy or a secret agent. Right? Un agente secreto. Secret agent. And what about her brother? Is his is her brother a veterinarian? No, a photographer. photographer. No. He's a photographer, a wildlife photographer. He takes photos of animal, animal life. Okay, so they are talking about the family and they are saying what their family are doing right now, what they are doing uh, in this moment in their lives. As you can see, they ask, she's working on a very secret project right now. Um, she's not working in the United States this month. He's traveling in the Amazon. So we can use the present continuous to talk about what you are doing in this moment. And I will write that here. I will write in this moment. So you can take some notes. We use the present continuous or the present progressive to express or to say what, uh, what people are doing in this moment or to say what is happening at the moment. Also, it is used to express what people are doing temporarily in their lives and to express what 
is happening in the future. In the near future. And we can see some examples. Are you living at home right now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. So these are yes, no questions in the present continuous. What is the structure of the present continuous? Well, affirmative sentences are subject plus verb B. What are the verb B forms? Am, is, and are. And are, exactly. Am, is, and are, plus the verb in the ing form plus the complement. <clears throat> that is the structure in affirmative statements. For example, we can say, I am teaching, I am teaching English in this moment. I am teaching English in this moment. Okay. Another, we have subject, verb to be and the verb in the ing form. Now I will tell you about my family. For example, my husband is having a meeting in this moment. My mom is watching TV. My niece is singing Shakira songs <laughs> in her room. My niece. My brother is driving in this moment. He's driving in a terrible traffic. Let's see, my baby cat is sleeping on the sofa. Right, my baby cat is sleeping on the sofa. And another one, mm, let's see. My, my father, my father is working in Nicaragua by now. So um, you see the structure, subject, the verb to be, and then the verb in the ing form, having, watching, singing, driving, sleeping, and working. But don't forget to add the verb to be. My husband is having a meeting in this moment. My mom is watching TV. My niece is singing Shakira songs in her room. My brother is driving in a terrible traffic. My baby cat is sleeping on the sofa. My father is working in Nicaragua by now. So we are talking about our, what our family is doing in this moment, in their lives, or in this moment, it's exactly. So can you tell me what is your family doing in this moment? What is your family doing in this moment? Your sons, your daughters, your children, your husband, your wife. My girlfriend is watching TV. Okay, Christopher. Okay, Christopher says that his girlfriend is watching TV. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. my, my wife, my wife uh, is sleeping. <laughs> okay, your wife is sleeping and you are having English class. Okay, interesting. Janet, Rosibel? Um, my, 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 song's watch TV. Your song is watching TV. Okay. Watch. Irma. My husband is watch computer. Okay. He's watching a computer. Mm -hmm. Claudia Maria. My son is eh, studying eh, in this moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's studying in this moment? Yes. But at home? <laughs> My son. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about your family. Do you have pets? Yes, my yes. cats are playing right now. Your cat is sorry. My cats are playing right now. Oh, your cats! How many cats do you have? I have two cats. Oh, okay, two cats, and they are playing in this moment. Okay. Um. Well, my baby cat Osita is sleeping very nice, and the mother is working, working for her food. <laughs> Picture. I will send you a picture of my of my baby, my baby cat. Teacher. Yes. Esta esta que la que la aprendan porque sale en una en unas preguntas al final del en el meeting se llama verdad y pues yo las escribía bien sleeping studying pero había algo que no le ponía y entonces por eso no me dejaba pasar. Estuve dándome de cabeza casi como dos días hasta que la resolví. Ok, yes, that's very important. That's why you have to pay attention to this topic. Que okay, Jacqueline says, my husband is fixing the laptop. Está reparando la laptop. Ok, my husband is fixing the laptop. That's good, ok. Tell me about your family, people. What are they doing in this moment? My mom is having fun with her friends. Really? So she's not at home? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jessica. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your opinions. Thank you for your participations. So as you notice, we use the present continuous to say what is happening at the moment. We have yes, no questions, and we have WH questions. When we make the yes, no questions, eh, lo que vamos a hacer es que le damos, empezamos con el verbo, ¿verdad? Con el verbo to be, sujeto, y lo demás sigue igual. Solo cambiamos la posición del verbo to be. Are you living at home now? Is your sister working? Are Ed and Jill going to college? And we have the other examples. What are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. I'm looking for a job because I'm not working in this moment. No estoy trabajando por el momento. Necesito tra un trabajo. Okay. What is your brother doing these days? What is your brother doing these days? ¿Qué está haciendo tu hermano estos días? ¿Qué está haciendo? Oh, he's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They are visiting my grandmother. ¿Quiénes están visit ¿A quiénes están visitando tus papás esta semana? Están visitando mi abuelita. Right? Entonces lo podemos usar para decir lo que, se, lo que está pasando en el momento lo que alguien está haciendo ahorita, pero también lo que están haciendo temporalmente en sus vidas. Por ejemplo, you are taking English classes by the moment. You are taking English classes by the moment. 
maybe you are working extra hours, but that is temporal. It's not like fixed, it's temporal. Or maybe you can say, I'm living in, in San Salvador City by the moment because I'm working here. Also, we can use the present uh, continuous to express what is happening in the near future. También lo usamos para decir lo que va a pasar en el futuro, pero cercano y que estamos seguros que va a pasar. And these are the examples. Ahora bien, conjuguemos un verbo juntos en el presente continuous. Voy a borrar esto. Así que si quieren tomarle captura, in, in this moment you can take a screenshot. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, we are going to conjugate one, one verb. And for example, which verb? Algo, una acción que a todos nos gusta hacer. Sorry. Eat. <laughs> okay. Eat. So we say, I am eating three pupusas. I am eating three pupusas right now. Which is not true because I'm working. <laughs> you are, Sonia, right? You, you are, you are taking classes you are taking uh, in the evening in the evening the next one is he he is playing with the Barcelona team. <laughs> He's playing with the Barcelona team. She She is Bueno, puedo decir she's falling asleep. Alguien se está durmiendo, se está durmiendo. She's falling asleep. No voy a decir quién. <laughs> I'm not going to say who. Okay. Now eat. Like my cat. It is sleeping on the sofa. With we. We are. We are having. We are having a new teacher temporarily. And you, you are, you are eating a lot these days. Estás comiendo mucho estos días. You are eating a lot these days. And they, They are having fun. Se están divirtiendo. They are having fun at the beach. Okay, so this is the way we can conjugate the verbs. Now, if I want, if I want to make it negative, the only thing I have to do is to write not. I'm not eating, you're not taking, or you aren't. He is or he isn't or he's not. She's not. It is. It is not. We are. We aren't. Or we aren't, exactly. You are or you aren't. And uh -huh. They are or they they aren't. They are or they are not or they aren't 
having a fun at the beach. Okay. So that is the way. Now we're going to list, we're going to complete some conversations. Okay. With the correct form of the verb to be. And the verb in the ing form. Conversation number one. Hi, Stephanie. What are exactly? Sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Letter B. Hey, Mark. I am standing. Exactly. I am standing. I'm standing, I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah, wait, it? Moving. It? Moving. Moving. It is. It is moving. It is moving. Thank goodness. Okay, exercise two. Marcy, how? Are you interesting enjoying? Are you, are you. Are you exactly how how are you enjoying enjoying mm -hmm. enjoying how are you enjoying enjoying your shopping trip? We having 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 are having having and we're having sorry we're having a lot of fun okay next are, are you brother you spending you? a lot of money are your brother your brother is your brother is spending your, uh sorry is because your brother is he third person singular is spending Spending a lot of money. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom. He he's he buying. He's buying. He is buying. Buying. He's buying only one or two things. That's all. <laughs> but I don't believe her because look at the picture. <laughs> Look at the picture. She bought a lot of things, right? Not only one or two. <laughs> okay, so yes, guys, you can use the present continuous very well, and that's great. Okay, so now um, here we have this group discussion group work ask your classmates about people in your family what are they doing now and you can ask for more information okay we all we have some a couple of minutes so maybe we can do it here in the class mm -hmm. tell me what is your family doing in your in their lives for example i will ask you can answer in the chat For example, is your mother working? And you can ask other questions. Where yes. is your mother working? Mm -hmm. Where is she working? Or other questions, do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? Mm -hmm. What's your pet doing in this moment? No, I have a pet. No, I having a pet. You don't have a pet? No. Yes, I have a pet. I have a dog and 
it is walking on the sidewalk right now. That's good. Well, I told you my baby cat is sleeping. <laughs> no, she's not. She's sleeping right now. I have to. Mm -hmm. More questions. Your cat is so cute. Oh, thank you. Her name is Asi. Okay, let's ask about your family. Or you can ask me questions. Hagámoslo así, háganme ustedes preguntas. Ask me questions. In English, you can type the questions in the chat. Mm -hmm. Do you have brothers? Yes, I do. How many? Two brothers. And they are older than me. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. Vaya. Ajá. Lo importante de que les pregunto esto es para que luego me hagan otras preguntas sobre qué están haciendo ellos. For example, Claudia, do you have sons? No, I don't. Que me digan qué están haciendo. For example, if I ask Alejandro, because I see he is eating. Alejandro, what are you eating in this moment? Mm. And they bring the, the kitchen, the mom. Mom and the, ki the kitchen, in the kitchen. Okay, your mom is in the kitchen, but my question is, what are you eating in this morning? <laughs> I think he has problems with the camera. Okay. Other questions to you. What are you doing in this moment? Are you working in this moment in your life? I sorry, se me fue el your life. <laughs> what are you doing in this moment in your life? Are you working? Are you working? Or are you studying? Hello. Let's participate. Teacher, solo una pregunta. No es necesario que al final de la pregunta eh, lleve right now. Mm, it depends. It depends because eh, if you want to know what they are doing right now, yes. <laughs> Entonces, sí se dice para especificar que es en este momento. Oh, ahorita. Ajá, el right now es para especificar que estamos en ese momento haciendo la acción. Sí, porque también si, si va a preguntar lo que está haciendo en estos días, como en este momento de su vida, en este periodo de su vida, in this moment. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes, Bowley. Do you have a question, Bowley? Que si uno responde solo, I am working, 
¿Está bien o tiene que ser más larga la respuesta? Si le pregunta, ¿qué estás haciendo, pero en tu vida? Con ese, con ese significado, en ese sentido, como, como por ejemplo cuando alguien encuentra a alguien que tiene mucho tiempo de no ver, como un ex compañero, hey, ¿y qué estás haciendo? ¿Estás trabajando? ¿O estás estudiando? ¿Y a dónde vivís hoy? ¿O a dónde estás viviendo? What are you living? What are you doing? Entonces el contexto nos indica que está preguntando no exactamente qué está haciendo ahorita mismo porque está hablando con esa persona, pero la persona quiere saber qué está pasando en su vida. What is happening in your life? Okay. Um, I have a homework for you people. Uh, the homework will be to make a family tree. Van a hacer un árbol familiar, un árbol genealógico. Make your family tree. Puede ser, eh, lo pueden hacer en una, en una diapositiva de PowerPoint y luego la convierten en imagen o puede ser, hay aplicaciones de, de fotografías que se pueden hacer, ya las he visto. O, o en su cuaderno, el árbol genealógico. Grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, sisters, brothers, daughters, sons, uncles, etc. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Vamos a hacer el árbol genealógico. Y on Monday, we are going to talk about our family. Y el lunes vamos a hablar sobre nuestra familia. Using the present continuous. ¿Ok? Sí, ok, no teacher. La tarea. Ok, teacher. Vaya. Y otra tarea va a ser conjugar otro verbo en el afirmativo y en el negativo. Así como el ejemplo que hicimos de que conjugamos, ¿qué verbo conjugamos en la clase? It. Ajá. Usted escoja otro verbo. O pueden ser diferentes verbos. ¿Ok? Pero va a ser ejemplo de I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are, etc. Well, ok, it's time to take the last attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Ok. Alejandro Cartagena. Present teacher. Ana Elizabeth García. Present. Andrea Sánchez. Andrea Sánchez no estaba y me pareció que estaba, pero quizás no. Um, Betania Jerusalén López. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia María García. Present teacher. Claudia Yesenia Évora. No está. She's not here. Christopher Raúl Peña. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Christopher. Denis Gutiérrez. Doribel Arelí. Elí Antonio Sandoval. Present. En el, eh, man, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's Emmanuel Portales. Present. En Eida Verónica. Present. Thank you. Eric Daniel Herrera. Fernando Mendoza. Irma Segura. Irma Zuleima Grande. Present. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño. Present teacher. Janet Rivas. Present teacher. Jennifer Marisol. Present teacher. Jessica Susana. Present teacher. And Jimmy Ramos. It's not here. 
Okay, people, thank you so much for connecting to this class. Me, teacher. No me mencionó. No la mencioné. Ah, sorry, Damari. Da me, teacher. Ya me estoy diciendo, no me ha mencionado. Sí, sí la mencioné, Doribel, pero no me respondió. Ah, permiso. Okay, don't worry. Well, people, see you on Monday, okay? Please. in the platform, please. Yes, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.